Ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to look up, uh, we're going to give an honest assessment to Alephium. Alephium, a project that I've been backing and I hold. And of course, price, we're going to see if we can reach $50. In the last two video, I did a price prediction for you on AI Tech, another price prediction on Tectum. And today, of course, we're going to look at Alephium and see whether we can get to these key milestone targets and make some money with this thing. All right. Nothing I say is financial advice. If you're new to the channel, of course, follow us. Otherwise, uh, majority of you are returning. Smash a like and let's get on with it. So I've got some information that you don't normally see here and retail doesn't really consider when they are investing in a project. So is Alephium a good hold? Can you make money with this? And what are the factors for and against? So let's look into this, guys. As of late, the price action has been incredibly disappointing. What that does is it forces out weak hands and it takes out a lot of investors of the project. Now, for majority of you, the reason why the sell-off happened was an early investor. You know, this project has VCs. Therefore, as investors, we need to demand more listings. They have money. They've obviously had a pre-sell. Two million times or coins were put out for sale by a whale that actually sold a year ago um almost a year ago now and he sold at 80 cents now at the time the price went to do an all-time high and of course that was a concern that he would sell again of course he's the good thing is the price actually stabilized fluctuated between 30 cents holding it for majority of the time and now stabilizing at 118 which i think is a fantastic buy levels but why should you continue to believe alephium so first of all a concern for me is the TVL, all right? It has a tiny $6 million TVL in the ecosystem, all right? And you can see here, of course, in the last 24 hours, the TVL has also decreased by 1.5%. Having said that, for every argument for, uh, there is an argument against. And again, the Alephian Bridge is going to do colossal things here when it comes to that TVL. In addition to that, guys, what we have is the Alf Banks. I think this is the most important project in increasing Alephium uh, TVL over time. You can do native uh, borrowing and staking and everything else. You can do t total DeFi on Alf Bridge. That should take that number of $6 million, which is, again, a concern. Concern number one was the sell-off. We talked about how the, uh, uh, the, the whale is almost done. I mean, it's literally the price oppression, of course. Bitcoin dominance is going up and a micro cap like this will suffer as a result. My second concern was the TVL. And with the number of projects in the ecosystem and with Alephian Bridge being opened, right, and with TVL, native staking and borrowing now happening on ALF, I believe, along with the Binance Smart Chain Bridge, this TVL number that I'm concerned about should go up over time. Another thing that most most consumers don't take um, an interest to. Sorry, let me just kill these. Uh, let's go to this one. Most consumers don't actually understand uh, or most retailers don't understand the relationship between hash rate and price. So time you can see here, the hash rate of Bitcoin has been going up steady right over time. And it's the same thing that I saw with Casper 2. Now, if you look at the Alephium hash rate, it's going to the right and it's going up. What happens is as the hash rate goes up, the price lagged, especially in the case of Casper, which is my only comparison here, guys. But over time, the hash rate is climbing to the right. Higher hash rate, higher, higher prices, but the prices will lag that. So I'm confident right now they went up to over 20 pet hash, I believe, in terms of the hash rate. And this is another reason why ALF will do well over time. Another criticism, uh, which of course that we have, is the number of um, the number of listings. So so far we've got Gate, Mexi, Bitget, all decent. All right, by Economy and Coinex, majority of the activity happens between Gate and Mexi. Mexi probably being the biggest in terms of the overall volume. Now, when you look at that, you start to think, okay, we've got enough exchanges here. Can we get some more? And like I said, with every, you know, you've got to take the rough with this smooth. If the team had a pre-mine and a level of uh, VC investors that are actually clearly selling right now, 
the the least expectation from the community would be a good listing potentially a tier one will that happen i believe so i believe they will add more to, uh, exchanges and i've of course don't quote me on that but i'm i'm invested in the product, so it's in my own personal interest to find out whether the team will list or not remember guys dxb crypt, uh, crypto we don't have any official links to these teams so we can always be very fair and very critical the project needs a listing american investors need to get hold of this we need to see a crack and a binance or a crypto.com or we just need a, another exchange listing to make it more available all right now marketing let's go to marketing guys and in terms of marketing i believe the team has done very well on being available uh whether it's twitter whether it's um doing the amas whether i've just recently attended an ama that they had with uh, with the community, which was fantastic. They score very high on that. And in terms of developer conferences, all types of activities, the team is working flat out. I have no doubt, and including their GitHub, by the way, something that I previously talked about, but in terms of their GitHub, they are, they are producing and they are developing. So if we go to GitHub, this is where I got my um, information from that they were about to launch. Um, you know the the ledger integration the one key and now they're working on tangent so if you come here 16 hours ago this is the most active team that i can think of of many projects right so you know you would see here all the things they're working on and these are you know updated you know i've seen some teams that don't update this for a year so in terms of what they're doing here whether it's the you know security checklist whether it's a ledger or tangent integration which is coming now so alephium will be natively uh, in the tangent that includes, of course um with the addition of uh ledger and of course one key so i'm really really happy with that front the tvl is also gonna grow based on this entire ecosystem that is gonna have more bridges open to the likes of binance smart chain and it already has, ladies and gents, a, a native bridge to Ethereum. And this is very bullish. In fact, I've talked about this. So if you look at the, this is Alephium users over time. All right. So the whole time is going up. The users over time are going up. And of course, if you look at this, new users versus old users or token holders. And of course, aggregated users. You've got, this is exponential. This is growing. Uh, to the right and that's incredibly positive also the whole time for ALF, if you look at this is the amount of ALF being held and if you look at here over 280 days is by far the longest time that ALF held so it's nearly a year so people aren't actually willing to sell this thing um, that that quickly and you can see again you know the highest peaks here you've got you know the circulating supply and holding times so again over 281 and if we look at the alephian bridge now granted there aren't many transactions here guys but there is an alephian bridge right so you depositors going across on the alf banks uh and and using the alephian bridge and they're depositing money into you know into alephian again there's going to be a bnb one so over time, the dex volumes obviously october was a spike but dex volumes with a also go up over time you've got uh, 30 days top 100 trades by an estimated profit so you've got all the data here and all the data for me suggests that the if you look at especially now volume sold and volume bought is pretty much 50 50 right it's pretty much bought and sold is very very close and of course we had this huge uh, volume sold, uh, but look, the volume bought is also very close to that. So overall, in my, you know, in my research, and again, guys, you know, I buy this off the market like everybody else. I'm comfortable with the amount of activity, the amount of projects being built. I'm very comfortable that this project could do well in this cycle. And I think this is where money will come from from the from the likes of other projects uh and flow into this i mean no doubt about that so that gives us opportunity to look at some of these targets 
so if we look at the so if we look at this current alephium price target so let's just put alephium here so 105 million market cap and a price of 118 at 10x is 18 sorry 11 dollars 80 cents right that's doable very doable so this is probably one of your fastest 10x's into 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 this cycle i like that and i'll move over to 20x 20x 23 dollars 60 two billion dollar market cap would it do that as possible yes i think it will do that i think this will get to two billion dollars then we look at 30x so this is 35 to 47 dollars and this is a very keen area of interest for me personally because by that time obviously we're starting to look at the $50 range, $59 range onto which is 50x uh, from where we currently stand. I believe a $35 to $47 is very much a yes, in my opinion. I think this can can get to four to five billion dollars, but majority of our profit taking will happen in this range here. And again, if anyone's not taking profit. Uh, at that range i would be surprised because this is where you know this is a fantastic opportunity looking at where casper is today it's a 30x clean cut no messing about that's 35 dollars. and now let's get to the 50 dollars. i've put down possible at a five billion dollars because i believe as you start to rotate money from the large caps nothing else in the layer one space apart from tectum right offers you the same possibilities in terms of a low cap layer one with a uh, fantastic community doing all of these uh, different bridges and, and of course getting into the possibilities of these price, uh, price targets. I think this is the first one that I genuinely believe will go anywhere here, right? And possibly the 50, $59 mark at the $5 billion. So in my assessment, what I would say is has the price action not followed the project promise? Absolutely. Could we do with more exchanges? Yes. Are there concerns about well selling pressure? Yes, there is, because the pressure of the well is obviously, this is what is done to the price in a time where the majority of old coins are suffering anyway. But are more people holding out facts? Yep, this is all on chain analysis. This is not me making anything up because I like the project. And I want to be honest and fair. Listen, you know, if I find red flags, don't forget, not only am I an investor into this, but I also am responsible for a QT. You know, the team will be asked the right questions. But when you see growth in terms of hash rate, in terms of addresses, all of those things do seem promising. The risk, as always, is these smaller cap coins, these smaller market cap coins, have a funny way of behaving so you've got to be prepared for all sides but crypto is a bet we take a bet into the future price action of a token and this is what i'm betting on i think between 35 and 59 dollars you should be out of the market all right guys i hope you find this useful I hope you find it interesting subscribe to the channel smash a like and i'll catch you on the next one